my. You look so pretty. <laughs> All right. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Good to meet you, Drew. Yeah. You didn't say your name, did you? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. Ronald. And together, we're the Rons. Remember that time we went to the state fair in Alaska and got our ears pierced? Oh, my gosh. How can I forget <laughs> that? You know, so... Ronnie and I, every year, we go to the State Fair. It was a big thing to do in Alaska. The Alaska State Fair is up in a town called Palmer, which is about an hour north of uh, where we lived in Anchorage. And uh, so my, my parents were out of town. I just turned 16. I had a car. So Ronnie and I decided we're going to drive up and go see the State Fair. My parents were out of town uh, for the weekend. So we go up on a Saturday, right? And we start talking about, you know, maybe we should get our ears pierced. It was kind of a thing when we were growing up that guys get their ears pierced. And so we walked around, built up the courage, and got our ears pierced. You know, I kept it in all night. Uh, and then the next day I had to go to work. And I worked at this store called Pay and Save. And, uh, they, and they were strict. They did not allow men to wear uh, piercings. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to take it out, put it in my pocket, put it back in when my shift was done. It was like a four-hour shift or five-hour shift. I get done, I tried to put this thing back in, would not go back in. The thing closed up. So I started thinking, what am I going to do? And I'm really trying to push on this thing. It's starting to hurt. I was like, okay, what are my options here? Do I go like, uh, do I go someplace and try to get it pierced? It's like on a Sunday afternoon. And I started thinking about what's my dad going to think of me having a piercing? <laughs> so I totally chickened out. And so to this day, I could still feel a little something, but literally I had my ear pierced for like less than 24 hours. <laughs> but, uh, Ronnie, whatever happened to yours? I don't see that you oh, I still any have, I still have some, some whole residue there, but I think that's a really interesting topic. Piercings would be super fun to talk about. Yeah, let's do that. You know, it's funny when when you chickened out and got your ears, you know, you took your earring out. I kept mine in because I was cool. And it was <laughs> right. cool to have one. And you know, I kept it <laughs> in right up until I think my junior year of high school. So I had it in for what a good two years before I took it out. So what did your parents think about all this thing? Like I chickened out because my dad was totally opposed to guys having ear pierced and I just, I didn't want to mess with that. Yeah, Like so, so my mom is super observant. So every time I would see her, I would always make sure my left side wasn't facing her. <laughs> I mean, it literally took them three days and when she saw it, she's like, Ronnie, come here. And she said, grabbed my face and pulled it over. She's like, what in the world is that in your ear? I said, well, it's clearly a diamond. What do you think it is, mom? <laughs> and she's like, why would you do that to yourself? My baby's ears. And I said, mom, it's just cool. And at that point, she realized I had fallen off the deep end and she had given up on yeah. me. When is it okay to get piercings uh, anyway or get your, uh, get your ears pierced? Yeah, I mean, ears is one thing. Right. Other things, like, that's a whole other thing. I mean, I, you know, look, if you're a female, it seems like it's acceptable to get your ears pierced pretty much at birth almost. I know, but that nowadays is fairly controversial. Like, a lot of people believe nowadays that if you get, um, if you have your kid's ears pierced before they can consent, that you're somehow abusing them. But then there's the opposite effect. In some cultures, it's like, if you don't get your daughter's ears pierced, but like in the hospital, it's like almost sacrilegious. Yeah, yeah. I, There's I mean, very strong opinions about this topic. All right, I am here today to pierce Ronald's ears. We're first going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol. A little spot where it's going to go. That already hurt. A little spot where it's going to go. So don't move. This is going to only hurt you a little bit. Ah! How can people do this to themselves? Okay. Oh, golly. Oh, there it is. Oh. Beautiful. After all that pain and suffering, it was worth it, <laughs> particularly because I was able to move them into place. Since Ronnie's uh, first shot at it, we're not in the proper locations. Is the ear the gateway piercing for other places? I, I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know. Like the ears are exposed. You know, they. Uh, you know, piercing the ears has been around for a really long time very much socially acceptable. What is interesting is like when we were growing up, I don't remember anything about like piercing up at the top yeah. of the ears, none of that. But now it's just like, and now everybody's got those. Well, it's like totally acceptable. Yeah, so it's interesting. So the ear down here is like that fatty little yep. you know, soft thing. And up here it's cartilage. Yeah. And that's why I think all the other stuff wasn't pierced. But once people went further up the ear, they ran out of ear. Yeah. So then they had to go around into their eye 
and into their nose <laughs> and in their belly button and everywhere else. And it's it's interesting though, but you know you see uh, like indigenous peoples from you know thousands of years ago actually had piercings right here. They're still that the, they had them down here in yeah. the lips. They had pierces on their face. It's been around a while. It's just like when we were growing up. It just wasn't wasn't around. It was like a little bit in the ears. It was right. kind of like uh, you know, kind of uh, new or to have guys uh, piercing at the at the time. From you know the '80s when we were kids on yeah. through to now, it has changed drastically. And you know what used to be acceptable, as you said, was just ears down here. Now it's almost expected. You know that you're going to get your ears pierced around there, and then right. there's nothing wrong with anything else. Well, and I remember even even about uh, 20, 25 years ago where like getting the belly button pierced, that was like a thing. It seemed like everybody, yeah. uh, if you're a female anyway, you, everybody was getting their belly button pierced. So I, I kind of wonder about like, what is the fat of this? You know you know what? We need to talk to someone who knows a lot about piercings. Mm. Ronald and I are here outside of this piercing studio and we're hoping to find out exactly why some people do get piercings. So stand by, we might be able to get like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Ronnie and Ronald here from the Ronald. Hi, home. nice to meet you. Hey, nice Would meet you mind you. asking or letting us ask you a few questions about piercings? Sure, why not? All right, well, Ronald, why don't you start? Sure, yeah. So, um, so what what prompted you to start getting piercings? Honestly, just for the aesthetic reasons, I liked how they looked. Yeah. So now, how many total piercings do you have? I have eleven total piercings. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind telling us where they're all located? <laughs> yeah, of course. I have my septum and my nostril done. I have my double lobes with a conch and a double helix. On this ear, I have my double lobes and an industrial, which I put a chain on. So have you considered at some point that you might have to make a change? Like you might decide, you know what? I don't want one in this part of my ear. I want one in a, another place. Have you ever thought about that? How you, would it close up? Would it not? How would you close it up? Have you thought about that? Yeah, the beautiful thing about piercings is they're in some way kind of temporary because you can take them out. And if you ever want to put them back in, you have that option as well. People do get genital piercings, so that may be crazy to some people. Um, it definitely makes me cringe the most. It seems painful to me. There's more options for the male genitalia. There's some people who have like every possible piercing on there. There's dermals, so it's actually just a single point piercing. It doesn't go out another end, it's just a hook under the skin. So you can have like jewelry in your forehead or like on your chest. You know, that was super interesting and really quite, quite, you know, interesting getting perspective on somebody who obviously has a lot of piercings and is perfectly good with it. Yeah, you know, it, it is enlightening to get that kind of perspective. Obviously, neither of us have. Uh, piercings anymore. I mean, my short lived you for a little bit longer than that. You know, what is really acceptable? You know, in different situations. And what about in the workforce? Like, what are you gonna, uh, like, well, what is acceptable? Like, have right. you thought about that? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. So let, let's walk through the different things. So, ears, acceptable, right? Yep. Right, but what about ear up here? Mm -hmm. You know, the top, is that acceptable? I, I think it, it totally is and, and actually I think it's evolving because it used to be like you never saw people with uh, nose piercings in like an office environment. Now, I mean, it's pretty common, even up here when the, with well, the eyebrow. You're, well, you're going different places. So we're, we, we said here is good, here is good. So you've yeah. already gone to the nose nice. So oh, yeah. With the nose? Oh, yeah. Office 100%. environment. 100%. It has a lot to do, it's everything to do with who your um, customers are. Is the organization there to make money uh, for people? And, uh, and then that means you have to appeal to your customers. Right. That's what you just have to do. So you got to get in front of, uh, right. front of people. So you have to look the part. That's, yeah. all, uh, that's all there is to it. So I, and so I, I gave you kind of an asterisk next to the right. piercing. So, so I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know that I have as much uh, latitude as you do. I think ears are great. I think nose studs are fine. Nose hoops, that's not an office environment. And eyes, mouth, anything else on the face, I'm a hard nut on. Well, no, once again, this, I think this is a moving target. I think it's a moving target. I think it's gonna change uh, quite a bit with the different generations coming up. I think the, the thing that people don't really think about though is when you get past piercing and you start to go to the gauges where it starts to make your ears wider. Like, you know, I'm not gonna say it doesn't look good, but that's not recoverable. Yeah. You know, piercing is a little hole. Once you get to where you're stretching and deforming things, 
it's not recoverable. You can get some surgery done and it's like a plastic surgery. You're basically, you've got a much larger wound. That's all, I mean, piercings are essentially wounds that you have to, you, you need to get some extra support and it's gonna cost some money. And so you gotta be thinking about ahead. If you're getting these things done, that at some point in your life, you may need right. to change it. Right. So you might wanna save some money to, to deal with that situation. Right, is it worth it? I'm generally okay with the uh, piercings. They've been around a while, and it's it's evolving. The generations are gonna uh, are gonna change, and uh, and so I mean, what's uh, ultimately acceptable in the work environment is gonna depend on the business. Yeah, I can I can get around that, and I think when you think of you know time and things that have changed, you know, what it reminds me of. I wish they didn't. Sometimes I really miss the past and you know kind of the things we did as kids and when we went to the state fair and we got our ears pierced that was fun yeah yeah summer summertime in alaska was just uh was just fun oh yeah. you know we, we got to talk about the fun stuff that we did in the summer particularly on our street oh my gosh we yeah. had some of the best games ever you know yeah. what that's a great topic yeah. let's do that if you let's are interested that. join us check it right out here we're going to talk about all the games we did in alaska catch you guys later ronald i'm see, out see you later see you ronnie